Well, hello, best friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I have this um, wig from Ask Sisters or AF Sisters. I do not know how they pronounce this, but I love the package and it looks like a gift. And yes, so I got this body wave wig. If you hear something in my background, I don't know what they doing outside, but mm. anyway, so I'm going to just unbox this wig with you guys. Um, I think this might be 22 inches, 24 inches. I'm not sure. I'll have all the details down below in the description box for you guys. But this is everything that it came with. It came with a pink comb, a pink edge brush, um, um, a lace melter, uh, an extra elastic band, and a wig cap, okay? Now this is soft lace, very thin HD lace. Oh my God, I was in love with this. Look at this hairline. This hairline is pre-plugged, it was pre-bleached. I didn't have to do anything. The knots are super small. It was just ready to wear straight out the pack. Look at that hairline. I really wish a lot of companies would um, adapt to this situation and how they already have it pre-plugged and everything because you literally do not have to do anything. This is a 13 by six. It does have combs, adjustable straps, and an elastic band. So you can wear this gluelessly or you can use glue if you want to. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like um, on my head. I didn't do any customizations to this unit. This is what it looks like straight out the packet. Now I am, let me scoot back. I am a um, 22.5 and this wig fits me snug, okay? So if you're anything bigger than that, you're gonna have a hard time fitting this, okay? Um, the lace is definitely soft lace, so you wanna be careful when you like tugging it and everything like that. It's already pre-plucked, as you can see, so it's given a natural hairline, which I appreciate. You wanna put curls back into this hair because it came with like, you know, kind of like barrel curls. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like maybe cut it shorter and then add some curls into it but yeah so she's cute um the hair is a very nice quality you can tell that this is a very uh, the structure of the wig is very nice the knots is already bleached on this particular unit so hmm, we like that so i don't have to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and take her off and um, I'm gonna run my flat iron through her just to get uh, her somewhat straight enough for me to go ahead and cut it so I could put my curls in it because I do want curls, yeah. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I did not. So like I said, I straightened the wig, just not like really good. I just went through past the flat iron through it just to straighten it so I could get a, a decent cut. And then I'm taking my, um my clippers and then I'm gonna just cut it bluntly. Um, yeah, so I took a good amount of length off of this wig because I was going for a certain look. And so after I do that, I am gonna take my razor comb and I'm gonna just give this hair some light layers. Nothing too serious, just little light layers so the curls could sit and stay and you know, sit how I want them to. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing right here. I put some wax on the front of the hairline and I'm using my hot comb to uh, just make sure that the, everything is in place. Um, while I was recording this, my stove died. So I ended up having to go purchase another stove that day. So, um, the ending of the video, like it wasn't as neat and pressed down as I would like it to be. And that was because my stove died. So I did get another stove. Um, I think I bought a too big of a stove actually. So I'm, I'm going to just keep it and go get a smaller one. But um, I am going to put some curls, the barrel curls in here. So I am going to need some clips. That's what you saw me show you guys. And then I'm going to use my Ion curlers that I got from Sally's. You can find these also on Amazon. I will link, link them down below in the description box for you guys. And I'm going to just curl backwards away from the face. And then I'll let it sit for a couple of seconds. And then I will pin them so they could cool in its curl. And I'm going to do this for the entire wig.
So after everything is curled, I'm going to take some spritz and I'm going to go ahead and spritz the entire hair. I like using spritz because it is not uh, sticky and it's lightweight. Y'all, my person comb, my, my stove died. So I got to go buy a new one, but I don't know how this is about to turn out because I know I need my person comb. So <sighs> anyway, let's do it. I got my blow dryer. I'm going to do a glueless method. My desk is crazy. So I need to tint my cap. So I got my Ruby Kisses and I'm going to put some makeup all over this so it can blend in. Y'all know we're gonna use Old Faithful right here. Okay, okay so we're gonna work from side to side. So, I'm gonna go ahead. Like, look how this hairline looks. She looks really good. This is why I really like AF sisters because, or AF sisters, because their hairlines is always giving. And you don't have to do a whole bunch of work. I really wish other, like, brands was like this. All right, so before we melt down the hairline, take my pins out. 
Okay, I don't care what y'all say. I do want baby hairs. Regardless of how natural this thing is hitting for. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I can't really do too much with my hairline because my pressure comb burnt. I'm mean, not burnt, but died. So I need to um, go buy a new hot stove. But yeah, this is what it looks like. What you guys think? I love this lace. Oh my God. Let me... uh. But yeah, this is the ending of the video. If you're interested in this wig and the lace, I'll have a link down below in the description for you guys. I'm going by the beach, so if my curls fall, I'm going to just take a scrunchie so I can do a half up, half down. But yeah, she's cute. I'm on the beat.